In the world of precision motion control, we're often dealing with microns. A micron is a millionth of a meter, sometimes referred to as a micrometer. However, as humans, we have difficulty intuitively understanding very large and very small numbers. In this video, I want to give you a tangible feel for the size of a micron. If you Google size of a micron, you will find many diagrams like this one. My problem with this diagram is that once you get below the diameter of a human hair, it's a list of things we can't see. And that doesn't lead to a very intuitive understanding at all. I propose we scale up a micron to something more tangible. Let us imagine that a micron is equal to the diameter of a US dime. Since the diameter of a dime is 17.91 millimeters, or 17,910 microns, the scale factor of our new micron as a dime world is 17,910 to 1. That means if you laid eight dimes in a row, that would represent eight microns. If you recall from the diagram, eight microns is the size of the average human red blood cell. Now normally a drop of blood contains about five million red blood cells. However, when we scale this up to our micron as a dime size, a single cell would cover the entire palm of my hand. Now let's take a look at that classic measuring stick, the human hair. At 70 microns, the diameter of a single strand of human hair is about the diagonal of a typical 50-inch TV on our dime scale. How about 0.5 millimeter pencil lead that we use in our mechanical pencils? 0.5 millimeters is 500 microns. An NBA basketball goal is 10 feet high. Therefore, in our micron as a dime world, 0.5 millimeter pencil lead would be just slightly shorter than three NBA hoops stacked on top of each other. Now for the one that really blew my mind. How big would an inch be? If a micron were the size of a dime, an inch would be 497.5 yards, or about the size of five football fields laid goal line to goal line. Let's take a look at how big that is. Remember, this is the size of an inch if a micron were the size of a dime. Okay, so technically we have to stop two and a half yards shy of five football fields. But I think you'll agree, if it makes an inch look that big, a micron has got to be mighty small. So the next time you have an application that requires positioning in the micron range, give us a call. Parker has lots of solutions including the MSR80 and MSR100 linear servo positioners. They offer both iron core and ironless linear motors for a high dynamic response and high thrust. The integrated precision square rails offer superior straightness, flatness, and stiffness specifications. They have up to six different options of linear encoders with home and end of travel limits. With bidirectional repeatability down to one tenth of a micron on the MSR80 and two tenths of a micron on the MSR100 series, we clearly have solutions for your next high precision application. We look forward to working with you soon.